in this three minute video. Follow these easy steps on how to install Windows 10 on the new MacBook Pro. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and grab yourself a marker USB, plug it into your computer. So go ahead and go to the Windows website and grab yourself an ISO. ISO. So once you reach the Microsoft website, you can get yourself a Windows 10 ISO. Select the edition you want, select the product language, then select 64-bit. You don't necessarily need a product key right away to use this ISO. You can skip it during the installation process, although there'll be some things you won't be able to change about Windows. Any questions about the process, I can help you out. Go ahead, access your applications by pressing the F4 key over here. Search for Boot Camp. Type in boot, click on Boot Camp Assistant, and basically just click next on pretty much all these prompts here, except for this area. You wanna get the latest Windows support software for Apple, and you want to create a Windows 8 or later install disk. So check everything you see here, then click continue. This will ensure that you get the necessary drivers. Uh, the image, it'll just detect it. If it doesn't detect it, click choose, and then pick it. Click continue, it will be erased. That's okay, you're gonna want that because that's where you're gonna put the uh, Windows 10 on and install it for us. Wait for it to install. You'll reach a point where you're gonna wanna select how much you want of that hard drive to be Windows. Go ahead, type in your password, and then it's gonna choose how much space you're gonna want on your Windows partition. You know, what, what do you find more important? Do you want more OS X space or do you want more Windows? Now and then it won't restart into actual Windows. Restart here and then hold down the option key to choose the uh, Windows partition. Hmm, what do you know? Just the way it is, click next. Windows 10 Enterprise Edition. Accept user license agreement. You're going to want to select the bootcamp partition. Click format. Click OK and then click next. So when you're installing Windows, it could take up to about 10 to 15 minutes to get this installed. And then it's gonna restart on its own. Use the express settings. Use express. Enter a username. We'll do search. So right now you have Windows installed, but you need to make sure that you install the bootcamp driver. Go ahead, click next, accept the terms, next, and there it goes. Make sure you don't forget to install that particular portion because if you do, you won't have um, proper controls set up. You won't be able to like use the volume keys and things will be wonky. So make sure you get those installed. Go ahead and restart the computer and you guys should be good to go. Ask you if you want to restart, click yes. This will ensure that the drivers are fully applied. And there you are. Welcome to Windows 10.